She call me rubber band man, cause I get them bands man All this shit to action, cause I had no option Just stick to the plan man, even if you flopping I was in Ross, now I'm shopping at sex Spending this money, I'm making right back Smoking this dough, now I feel like a J She say I'm a duck, give a two out of bed It's green in my body, I feel just like Shrek Remember them days when that nigga had less Remember them days, oh no j in the cut and he just wore a fall Got braids on my head, but I just had a fro My shooter's green light and you know they on go uh, I had the eyes of a gay Do you want my body? Now watch me just play I'm fucking your bitch and you ain't know she be wet yeah. Trio, guess what today's day? What is today? It's wait, is today the six? Today's the six. You know what that means? What does that mean? Rubber Band Man just dropped. Okay, Wait, forget Rubber Band Man. Today I'm doing a jean collection video, so show my drip real quick. Yeah, show show Look my, at my drip. Look at, hold on, you ain't got to sag with it. You know what I'm saying? Look at. Matter of fact, we talking about sagging. Oh, sagging. No, 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 no. You already got grills. Don't nah. sag. You already nah. got grills. Grills. The hood nigga. Oh no, the hood nigga's coming out. The hood nigga's coming. Oh no. I hope he doesn't put on the black forces. He'll be a real hood nigga then. Put on the black forces. I, I said I. Okay. We said, what about, huh? What's up, nigga? I kind of wanted to scare you, but you didn't jump up. Wait, where's the camp? Oh, oh no. shit. It's oh, yeah. Nigga. yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Rubber band man, man. Rubber band man just dropped. Wait. Man, you okay, Cash. Man. What are your grades? I'm a nerd. I'm passing every single class. Thank God. Yeah. I thought you was the real deal. It's November 6th, Rubber band man just dropped, so make sure y'all go stream that. All right, y'all. So, what is going on, man? This is Kel. Coming to you guys with another. Video man, now, as you guys can see by the title man, today we are gonna be doing the jean collection. I have a pretty big selection of jeans. Like not only will I be showing you guys my jean collection, I will also be telling you guys where to get jeans for affordable prices, man. So this is gonna be lit. Make sure you guys stick around. As you guys can see, man, I got grills. I just want to show y'all real quick. I also have the tops over there. Matter of fact, let me go get the tops real quick. Hey, yeah, man, just like that, we glowing. I have a lot of jeans, bro. Like the collection is huge. Oh, I just broke a hanger. I'm not gonna do too much talking. Without further ado, let's get into it. So the first pair of jeans that I got y'all are these Subi jeans right here. Now, a funny story is actually I wasn't even meant to get these, you know what I'm saying? Like this wasn't a jean that I really, really wanted. I really got it because of the back. I'm not gonna lie, the flag or the tag on the back really makes the jean, but I was actually in LA with my brother Kayvon and we were literally just walking, we went inside the Saks Fifth store. They had Subis, you know what I'm saying, on the shelf. And I was like, you know what? Let me try a pair of Subis because I wanna have some drip for LA, you know what I'm saying? Some quick drip for the night. So I tried them on, they were insanely skinny. But at the end of the day, I was like, bro, I'm in LA. You know what I'm saying? Let's just spend the money. I'm not gonna lie, it was an impulse buy. I really don't get too much wear out of these, but at the end of the day, man, Subis get drip. I gotta make them look fly regardless. So that's the Subis. On to the next pair. So the next pair of jeans that we got now, these are one of my favorite jeans in my collection. Now, I got these from Owen Hyatt. Shout out to you, Owen, bro. I miss you. I'm glad you do your thing. So these are a pair of vintage Levi's. Now, I'm not sure what year these came from, but as you guys can see, they're definitely worn. You know what I'm saying? You have a nice wash in the thigh area. Then moving down, you also have some distressing on the bottom. You can get a pair of jeans like this off Grail, Depop. Uh, you can get this off like Japanese auction. You can literally buy these at thrift stores. Like you just gotta look for jeans with a really, really great wash. So jeans like this are really like my favorite. I really don't like designer jeans or like new jeans because I feel like they don't have no character to them. That's these Levi's. Enough of that. On to the next jean. So the next pair of jeans I got are these baggy Levi 505s. Now these are more of a straight fitting jeans. These are not skinny. I wore these with the, the Travis Scott outfit. So if you guys haven't seen the Travis Scott vid, go watch that. Obviously, these don't have like a skinny taper to them, and I feel like that's what honestly makes me like them a lot because I don't want my collection full of skinny jeans. You guys know I like baggy jeans too. So this is a good pair of baggy jeans. It has a nice wash, distressing in the thigh area. Then on the bottom, it also has distressing. You guys can see that right there. So if you're looking for any straight fitting jeans you don't want to buy designer, definitely go with Levi 505. The next pair of jeans we got are these Wrangler jeans. I believe these are Wrangler. Are they? I really don't even know. No, no, no. no. They're Lee jeans. Obviously, I don't, I don't be knowing, bro. I get all these jeans from the thrift store, to be honest. So these are a pair of Lee jeans. Now, the funny thing about this is that I really, really like the wash, but the knee was way too blown out. Like the knee slit was like basically ripping off the jeans. So you guys see it has like these paint splatters or like these dirt splatters right here. Then moving down is distressed at the, oh, bro, that's, bro, that's so fire. Come on now, that is too fire. I was wearing them and I busted the knee slit way too wide. You guys know when the knee slit is way too wide, it looks like a hole is in the jeans basically. So I busted it way too wide, pause. 
Pause, oh my gosh. But I busted it way too wide, so I had to super glue it. But the crazy thing is, I use white super glue instead of regular super glue. So now there's a white stain on the jeans, and I, that will forever be there. Like, they won't come off. But I feel like it honestly adds character to the jeans, now that I think about it. You know what I'm saying? Got that white slit right there. So these are some pretty cool Wrangler jeans, or Reedley jeans. I don't know why I keep saying Wrangler. Again, man, shout out to the thrift store. They will always do you justice. I made a whole video about that, the fashion dudes and don'ts. So go watch that if you want some thrift store tips. So for the last pair of blue denim in my collection, guys, you guys see these now these are more regular jeans these are not thrifted these are not crazy you guys can get these at the mall actually these are american eagle jeans now i got these from american eagle like i was previously just said are super skinny jeans so i'll throw a picture of me wearing these but like i said man these are super skinny jeans so make sure you get your right size when you go with super skinny jeans or anything that's super tight you don't want it too skin tight to the point where you look like you have leggings on but at the same time if you want that super skinny rock star look then make sure you know your sizes but that's what i was basically going for with these so at the end of the day they do fit really good because i do want some blue skinny jeans so that's that on to the next pair all right y'all so next up we're gonna dive into the darker shades of jeans i have all my jeans sectioned off i have blue denim the khaki looking pants the white denim then i also have darker shades and then i also have black jeans so right now we're gonna get to the darker shades so i have these right here now these are actually a women's pair of jeans i got these from the thrift store in the women's aisle who cares man at the end of the day if it fits good then who cares then who cares about the gender you know what i'm saying so it has like a dark green army green tint to it which is cool it's different but at the end of the day i kind of wish it was like a black or something like a gray or something just way more better fitting than a green but these fit so so good i will put a picture on the screen you guys have seen these plenty of the times these fit so good especially with my travis scott jordan ones bro these are so good the thrift store is literally like my favorite place i go to the thrift store more than i go to the mall and i end up getting stuff like this so do not sleep on the thrift store the next pair of pants is also from the thrift store i'm not gonna lie you guys are probably sick and tired of me here and saying the thrift store but these right here is a pair of olive cargos now i got these from the thrift store as well a long time ago like literally like a year and a half almost two years ago but i barely wear these like i just have not had a time where i was like you know what let me throw on these cargos right here so but i think i have like one picture or maybe two pictures wearing these but i did wear these in a travis scott bitch so if you haven't seen that go watch it again so literally top three pants in my collection man i have these bad boys right here now these are the helmet lane painter pants now i can truthfully say that these i'm scared to wear i'm scared to wear these jeans i have never worn them yet i have never even tried to put an outfit together with these yet because I need to make sure my outfit is 100% commendable. The outfit has to be commendable. I cannot throw these jeans on and disrespect the helmet Lang painters. And these are OG from like spring, summer 98. I can't do it, coach. But yeah, man, these are definitely top three in my collection. I could kiss these right now if I wanted to, but they're just really old and, and kind of dirty. So the next jeans that we got, y'all, are these pair of pants right here. Now, listen, I haven't worn these either, but they do have like that paint splatter effect to them, just like Helmet Lane. But these are actually from Levi's. Yeah, these are from Levi's. I'm trying to tell y'all, bro, Levi's goes crazy. These right here are some gray painter pants that I got. It has a yellow stain on it, white stain. The back of the leg has some white stains on it. And then we also have this. Hopefully that's not blood. Is that okay? Good. That's clay. That's not blood. That's clay. There's like this little clay print right here. The more paint. So these are some really, really nice straight fitting jeans. Painter pants. Like I said, I can't wait to wear these. I still have yet to fit an outfit with these, but I know they're commendable. So that's all that matters. 100% commendable. On to the next jeans. So a pair of designer jeans that I got, y'all, are these Elite pants. Before I got all these other jeans, these used to be the jeans for me, but I'm not gonna lie. These are still probably my best one of my best fitting jeans look yeah without being tailored or anything these are for sure one of my best fitting jeans now these right here are called the elix dirt denim now the reason why it's called that is because on the knee area as you guys can see there's dirt splatters you know what i'm saying and that's so different besides helmet lane with the sand wash white jeans nobody has made dirt jeans like these jeans are built dirty i really really respect these man i respect matthew and williams hopefully one day i can walk for one of your shows hit me up in the dm elix denim super super fire i put some good outfits together with this man and do will always be, have a special place in my heart. I'm not gonna lie, I could kiss these two right now. Forget, I'm gonna kiss you. At least dirt denim, onto the next jeans. All right, y'all, so we got these jeans right here. Now, these are some crazy jeans. I'm not gonna lie. These are for sure my craziest jeans in my collection. Now, these are from the brand Handmade Rust. Now, I really don't wear these too much because they are a little short on me, and I just never found an outfit where these would really stand out enough or would fit the, fit the style that I have enough to wear. So, I don't know. I usually wear these with like a white tee or whatever I'm around the house. You know what I'm saying? If I'm going out to Walmart or something like that, I'll throw these on. But to really go out crazy with a fit, I haven't really had time. 
time yet. But so again, just shout out to Handmade Russ for sending these out to the boy. You know what I'm saying? I really, really do like these. So again, Handmade Russ jeans, on to the next jeans. All right, so moving on to the khakis now, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. I have like three pairs of jeans that resemble like that khaki feel. Let's get into it, man. So right here is a pair of khakis that I have. Now, these are the number nine Dickies collab. These were amazing when I first got them. I used to wear these literally almost every week. Yes, I used to wear these almost every single week because the fit was so good. And that's back when I was really, really into panners. You know what I'm saying? I'm still into panner pants right now, but this is when I was into it heavy. You know what I'm saying? I was in it crazy. So these right here are some panner khakis. Shout out to number nine, man. You know, shout out to number nine. I mean, I guess number nine is a very good brand. So yeah, shout out to number nine. But yeah, man, number nine pants. I don't want to talk too much on these. Number nine's Diggy collab. On to the next khaki. So with this pair of pants right here, y'all, I got these off Grail. Now, these are another pair of Levi's. But the crazy thing about these is that these were originally blue jeans. They were dyed. You know what I'm saying? The person that I bought these off of on Grail were selling them for like $15, and they would literally die. Like, he died on this khaki color, and it didn't, I guess it didn't work out how he planned it. So you guys see that some areas are like darker than others. You know what I'm saying? And they have a few paint splatters on them, too, if you guys can see that. I don't know if y'all can peep that, but, but I do have some outfits in mind that I do want to wear with these, man. I feel like the Outfits will be 100% commendable. So make sure you guys just stick around. Follow my IG at the Life of Cash K because I will be posting all my music, post all my outfits, everything on there, man. So another pair of jeans right here, a pair of Levi's. These resemble that khaki feel. On to the next pair of pants. And I didn't, okay, those hit the ground. Let's go pick those up. So the last pair of khaki pants that I have, y'all, is these that I've got from the thrift store. Now these pants, y'all, I got this from the thrift store called like Freestyle. Now this isn't a thrift store, but it is a thrift store. So basically they sell thrifted clothing, but it's like Nike, Adidas, Polo, uh, they even had a Grateful Dead shirt in there. They had like more upscale stuff or just better filtered clothes, I guess. There was still a lot of trash stuff in there because of course it's a thrift store, so you're gonna have to pick and choose and search for what's good, but for the most part, it was pretty cool, you know what I'm saying? It was a pretty cool place, so that's why I got these cargos. Now, these are just some regular cargos. These will literally be like my everyday pants. I'm not really trying to pop out too crazy with these. Always need a basic pair of cargos in your collection. These are very, very nice. On to the next jeans. Matter of fact, no. Everything else is the black denim, and I know that's what you guys like the most because right now I got on black denim. Yeah, yeah, we got the Rickies on too, yeah. Black Hollister jeans right here. I guess I can count those. I guess, so let's get to the black jeans. So the first black jean that I have in my black jean collection, now these are my, my top, yeah, these are my top jeans. These are the best pair of jeans that I have, if not the second behind the helmet lanes, but these are for sure the best pair of jeans I have. These are the It's Father Don Carnage denim. Now so many people ask me about these jeans. I have so many outfits, as you guys can see on the screen, wearing these, and I definitely can say that I will never, and have never thought about selling these. These are definitely like, my go-to pair of jeans when I need just some fly, like to make my outfit look way more fly, I just throw these on. Very, very good pair of pants. I'm not even gonna throw these. I'm gonna kindly set these bad boys down. So yeah, on to the next jean. So the next pair of jeans that I have, y'all, now these are ultra stack jeans and they're also J curved. So the inseam on these is literally like 37, 40 inches. And you guys know that will create a crazy amount of stacks in the jeans, but that is the entire, you know what I'm saying, purpose of it. That's the whole entire fit of it. So I got these from Alan King about a year ago. Shout out to you, Alan King, if you're watching this. Alan King's really popping, man. Shout out to you, keep doing your thing. Congrats on all the success that you've had. Super, super nice pair of jeans, love these. Let's get into the next jean. So the next pair of jeans that I got are these right here. Now, these were also thrifted. I got this from the thrift store about six months ago. Don't really want to speak on them too much. Just some regular, like, straight fitting jeans. They're kind of like a raw denim black. Super, super cool, super nice. You know I'm saying, whenever I'm trying to pop out, I have something that's not too baggy, but not too skinny. These are definitely the go-tos when it comes to my black denim. So, super nice, like I said. And let's set these down and get into the next pair of pants. So, next up, y'all, we got these black pair of denims right here. Now, these are a fan favorite. These are a family favorite, you know what I'm saying? Everybody really, really likes these. These are the Rick Owen Detroit cut denim. So I got these for I got these uh, around Thanksgiving last year. Honestly, I can say these are my go-to when it comes to luxury wear. Whenever I want to have wax denim, I just got another pair of wax jeans the other day, but these are undefeated. You know what I'm saying? I when I put these on, it goes with any shoe silhouette, no matter what. Rick Owens, if you guys have the money to get Rick Owens jeans, I can definitely say that yes, the jeans are like $300, the jeans are like $250, but they are worth it. Rick Owens jeans are too Bro, they're cut different. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Rick, man. Rick, if you're watching this, give me a chance, bro. Let me walk one of your shows. Please. 
Please, Brady, please. So for these pants right here, y'all, now I got these during quarantine. Now these are the Elite sweatpants. Now, I still haven't worn these yet, but I do have a really, really good outfit in mind that I am gonna wear with these, with my Elite boots probably. But y'all see right here, man, we got some nylon Elite sweatpants. Then you all see the Elite signature belt buckle. We have that on there too. That tag, Elite, baby, yes sir. So these have like a custom inseam. Don't really wanna speak on them too much. We're not gonna throw these either because these were very expensive. So let's kindly set these down as well. And last but not least, y'all, we're gonna knock out two birds in one stone we have two pairs of check pants now these right here are more like military style check pants uh, I got these from the thrift store for like literally like three dollars three four dollars they came with like a little utility belt so I don't have to wear my own belt with these it has a belt attached to them so these are some really nice pants then also at the bottom you can also taper it you can literally tighten it to make the hem close to make a more tapered fit so and then right here I have some baggy Adidas pants now are these Adidas yeah so I have some baggy Adidas check pants now crazy thing about these is that I got these from the thrift store as well, but I really don't like the fit on them. I want to go get them tapered, so I will be taking these to the alteration shop, and these can go so hard. So I will be tapering these and, you know what I'm saying, tailoring them to my style, to my fit. So just some baggy track pants. I don't really want to talk about them too much, and yeah, man, that's that. So now that the jean collection is over with, I want to talk to you guys and show you guys where I usually get my jeans in the best places and really give you guys a quick little overview, rundown to really get the best of your money when you're shopping for jeans. So the first thing I want to say is do not go to Saks do not go to Neiman Marcus, do not go to any of these places to find jeans. They will wax you out of your jeans. Subi jeans are literally like $300, purple jeans are like $300, R13 jeans are like $300. Do not spend the money on designer jeans. If I were you, I would go to a thrift store and literally find jeans that have character, find what type of jeans you like. A lot of People like skinny jeans, but they don't want to go to baggy jeans because it's uh it's not socially accepted, I guess. Right now, it's not what's in style. But believe it or not, baggy jeans or more straight thin jeans might be your thing. That might be your style. So I would say go to the thrift store, find different types of jeans, find skinny jeans, find slim fitting jeans, find all different cuts. Go get your jeans tailored and see what jeans fit the best for you, and then go based off that. Because you don't want to spend too much money on jeans or designer jeans that you might not like in the future that you might grow out of and stuff like that. So some places that I recommend to go shop for jeans would definitely be Grail, definitely be Depop. You guys want to find like Instagram people, go on your explore page and literally just type in fashion jeans or just type in jeans or, or jean archives or like, you know what I'm saying? Like just places that post different jean pages, underground fashion, low key people. For an example, you're not finding these type of jeans at the mall. These right here are handmade rust jeans, like I said before, and they're literally an Instagram account. You know what I'm saying? Like Instagram accounts be making some crazy jeans, some fire jeans. So, but figure out what just makes your style look the best when it comes to your favorite type of jeans and just go based off that. But yeah, man, that's all I have for this video, man. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you guys go follow me on my Instagram and all my other social medias to see what I'm doing in my day-to-day -day life because I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I'm a pretty cool guy and I live a pretty interesting life. So if you wanna see everything else, see all the music that I dropped because I just dropped Rubber Band Man today. Well, you care about that? All right, let me play the snippet then. She call me Rubber Band Man cause I get them bands, man. All of this shit to action cause I had no option. Just stick to the plan, man. If you flopping I was in Ross, I'm shopping at sex Spending this money, I'm making right back Smoking this dough, now I feel like a jet She say I'm a duck, it was too late to bed This green on my body, I feel just like sharing Remember them days when that nigga had less Remember them days, oh no Chip bands in the cut and he just wore a fall Got braids on my head, but I just had a fro My shooters green light and you know they on go I had the eyes of the neck, uh, I had the eyes of a gay Dior on my body, now watch me just flex I'm fucking your bitch and you know she be wet Okay, okay Okay, 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 okay. Stacking this shit, I feel like Rito Lay. Every day my birthday, so watch me get the cake. J Benz in the cut and he gripping the K. Got rap on my body, do you on my legs? No lace. take K, but a nigga drink Lipton. Niggas be this and I'm all in they mention. No, this not an act, but this act what I'm sipping. Yes, we can talk, but I don't do commitments. Smoking on dope, I'm hot like pigeons. Got on his face like the end of a sentence. Niggas be biting, these niggas be dissing. But I'm getting rich, so I just never. So as you guys can see, man, that was the trailer that I made, the snippet that I made for Rubber Band Man. Go click that first link down in the description. Go stream it. Go run it up, man, because I will be dropping so much more music in the future man it's time to blow up i'm not gonna lie a lot of people been saying cash bro you actually be spitting cash you really going crazy so i'm about to take this music all the way i'm about to start dropping consistently man music videos on the way new music on the way and i also have a lot of stuff on the way man so if you guys want to see all the back end stuff see everything that i do in my day-to-day -day life go follow my ig and also my fits go crazy. Go follow me. Let's run it up on IG, man. 100K on the way on that platform. I need to hit 100K on IG. I'm not gonna lie. Like, when I tell y'all to follow me, please go do it. 
because I'm actually trying to hit 100k and we are very very close so yo man I love y'all like I said new videos on the way but I'm done saying I'm dropping a new video I'm about to just start dropping videos for y'all as y'all see man consistent cash is back in the building you not see this consistent cash is back so I'm not gonna say too much man I'd rather not talk about it just do that shit I love y'all stay happy stay motivated stay positive and I'll see y'all in the next video man Jin Collection and we out Robert Batman just drop go stream I'm rolling that bit as you go. These niggas trying to copy my flow. I'm touching bridge, touching peso. Pull it to him, I'm towing that Draco. I was running front, talk about the lay low. I get a sauce, ain't talking on Fredo. I get a bed, then go to Tobago. Big bullets, and they hot like volcano. That's the boy, up like a dent tomato. Finish, bitch.